Mama Leo had her boyfriend call my phone. Y'all not going to believe this. I don't know if Mona Leo just, you know, she always want to create the content for Mike Wilson or what. But I'm like, oh my God. Okay, let me, t- let me tell y'all what happened. Just relax. We're talking about Mona Leo. We're talking about Leo. We're talking about Leandra. Just relax. We're talking about Mona Leo. All right, so what happened was I'm really in these streets every day. As y'all can see, I'm out in the streets of Houston every day, right? Houston got 2.2 million people. Out of 2.2 million people, 1.1 million people have met me. So half the people of the whole city have met me and know me. That's a lot. 2.2 million people in Houston. 1.1 million know me personally. Okay, so anyway. I'm really in these streets. I got this going on. I got... You know, a lady friend is rescheduling. I'm having to reschedule to go back to see her. And I'm, you know, I'm leaving this side of town. I'm on Metro Rail. I'm all over the train system. You know, all of this, right? Okay, I didn't refresh my YouTube. Like, I hadn't looked at YouTube in a while, right? And so I had just thought, I was like, I'm trying to get a hold of the, uh, you know, we not humping video so I can look at it and do a review on it, right? So I go ahead and send over a media request for some of y'all that a lot of y'all that don't know, supposedly media is supposed to get you know, they're supposed to get a, a quick copy. They're supposed to get a summary copy. Uh, a lot of times in the movie business, they call it a critic review. Right, a critic review. Be like, okay, let me send a critic review. Um, and then they change it to a media copy. Um, and there's something else to... Actually, in the movies, um, I didn't even know this, but like way back 10 years ago, 20 years ago, people that own movie theaters would actually get the movie, you know, a month in advance. And they would send the movie on DVD for the owner of the movie theater to to watch the movie to see if they want to purchase the movie for their theater. But anyways, I send over a media copy request, which is the same thing I did for the song We Not Humping when it came out. Mona Leo denied the request. She denied the request when it came out as the song. So... Naturally, I'm going to send in the request for the video so I can take a look at the video so I can really do a good review on it and then put out the review when it comes out. Well, guess what happens? All of a sudden, like real quick, right? Okay, let me say, see, Mona Leo really don't know she ain't got no game compared to me because I've been doing this so long. I'm a lot older than her. You know what I'm saying? She don't, like, she really... She's at that level where she can't even tell, like, man, this guy got 25 years, 30 years more game than I got right here in Houston. You see what I'm saying? She can't even see it, right? So, right away, Mona Leo sends back, what's your phone number? Or no, she said, what's your number? Now, watch this. When she said, what's your number, I almost... Replied back, oh, why? Because you're going to have your boyfriend call me. But then I, I didn't do that. Let me tell you what I did. I sent back right away. As soon as it came into my email, I sent right back. I sent the number right back. Like a full bounce back. Like quick, I just bounced it back real quick. Now that stalled her out, right? Because she wasn't expecting for me to send the number back like within 15 seconds. So she stalled out on that. She had to go on pause, right? So I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, how many minutes? Okay, here we go, here we go. Who who, 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 who she going to get to call? 
Is it gonna be her boyfriend? She gonna get a boyfriend to call me, or she gonna get? Uh, what she really should have done is had one of, one of her uh, lady colleagues. Yeah, one of her lady colleagues should have called me. One of the ladies in the office, they're the ones that should have called me, and, and and just kept it all the way professional. But let me tell you what happened. Twenty minutes go by. Here comes the number. I, I I answered on my Bluetooth, right? Cause I got the speaker in my pocket, right? And so the the speaker, it it let everybody hear, right? So I'm on, I'm on the metro reel when uh her boyfriend stunned for Vegas call, right? Now remember the Bluetooth speaker? She already seen the Bluetooth speaker. Talking about Mona Leo, she already seen the Bluetooth speaker. It's a big old. Uh, like one pound speaker. She seen that at the uh, uh, at the store that I met her at. She, I, I, I let her. She, she, she saw me using it for media. She was like, "Oh, like he walking around with this whole speaker, right?" So when Stunner for Vegas called, I let it go through the whole Bluetooth speaker. So it's playing on the Metro Rail, right? So it, when he called, he's like, "Yeah." Uh, what's up, Mike Wilson? You trying to get the interview for Monalia, right? Really, to be honest with you, uh, she she didn't want to do no gut check interview. Remember in the video I did, I was talking about she needed to do a gut check interview. She don't want to do no real interview. She ain't trying to do no real interview. So I was like, oh yeah, no, she, you know, uh, I was like, I don't know how she trying to come at me online. And then he came back and was like, yeah, he, he started, he started like, taking shots at me, right? And then all of a sudden when he said, he said, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to threaten you. I just hung, I just hung the phone, I just turned the phone off right there. I just, I just said, yeah, that's it. I just terminate the call right there. But, but watch this, watch this. The point is this. What is she doing having her boyfriend call me, like, charging me up? You know, I'm like, yeah, media Mike Wilson. I'm like, wow, this is, I don't know what happened to Mona Leo. I really don't. But I can tell you that it's like, I don't know. (laughs) I'm like, but anyways, anyways, um... Yeah, so that was the story. Mona Leo, Leandra, she had a boyfriend call me up. Really think she really thinks she got game. You know what I'm saying? It's not nobody in her circle. It's not. It's, it's not no family member of hers that had got to her and been like, "Hey, relax on this guy right here." You know what I'm saying? Because he been doing this so many decades. You know what I'm saying? And so my 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 reference go to everybody in the music business. It's like I told her boyfriend on the phone. I'm like, everybody in the music business, they don't, they don't know me, but they all met me. You you see what I'm saying? Jay Milan, Jay Bo, Jane Prince, James Prince, Jazz Prince, um, uh, Mr. Scarface, Willie D, um, I mean, you know, it, it it goes on and on, you know. It goes on and on. It's not nobody. Power Wall, Chameleon Air. It goes all of them. It's like the only one that's left is two, is two women in rap out of Houston. Well, the first one that's been ducking and dodging for about two and a half years, three years, I'm going to tell you what her name is. Y'all may have heard of her name is Meg Thee Stallion. Meg the Stallion started ducking and dodging me when she was at Prairie View A and M. Now y'all know I did a video on Meg the Stallion, but to Meg the Stallion's credit, you know she ducking and dodging out of town. You see what I'm saying? Right. She she very familiar with me. She like Mona Leo. She thinks she's familiar with me. No, no, no. Mona Leo already finished. She's already done, already I already met her. So she's finished. She's done. I've already met her. I already did, 
you know, immediate encounter with her. I'm fin we 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 on now. The last on the list is Meg the Stallion now. But Meg the Stallion, she all in California, all trying to catch flights all over the United States. But for those listening that are on here listening, I mean Meg the Stallion, yeah. Like Meg the Stallion was already getting checked by me when she was out of Prairie View and M. She was like one of my very first viewers on this YouTube channel that watches my videos. I'm going to tag Meg the Stallion in here. Meg the Stallion, no, I know what it is. Yeah, but anyways, I don't want to make this about Meg the Stallion. I want to tell you that, yeah, Mona Leo had a boyfriend called me. Mona Leo creating content for the real Mike Wilson. Mona Leo don't want to do no gut check interview. Mona Leo thinks she got more game than me. Oh, my God. I'm really getting back out. I'm all out in these streets in Houston. Oh, my God. I got to get back to bed. And no, she didn't buy me no space heater. I asked her for a space heater because I told y'all it was going to start getting arctic around this Houston area. And I still don't have a space heater at all. They don't have any at the store. I don't think the stores have space heaters. They don't. So, that's it. I'm just going to have to get up under these covers when it gets arctic outside and hope I make it. The real Mike Wilson.